A grand tournament is held, four champions clash to crown one. Street Fighter players get points and Dallas is taken over by an absolute battle. This is the leaderboard. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the leaderboard. I'm Ian Barker, joined by my co-host Jared Wynn and Efren Salinas. Guys, how you doing today? I'm doing fine because I didn't get strep throat, despite the fact that somebody at Absolute Battle had strep throat. Who was it? I want names, Efren. But people want names. It was Casey Dillon. You heard it here first. Breaking news on the leaderboard. Well, just to be safe, guys, how about you stay the hell over there at the desk? Let's kick off the day with some Hearthstone. The Abios Grand Tournament saw 16 of the world's best Hearthstone players throw down for a $5,000 prize pool, and the stakes were high with the Hearthstone World Championship regionals looming. RDU ran through Powder and Stanislav Sivka on the way to the final, but Orange was even more impressive, powering through Gara, Ecop, and Firebat before taking down RDU in a sweep. Uh, it's a pretty good weekend for Orange. Anybody have a good weekend in uh, fighting games, Efren? As a matter of fact, a few players had a pretty good weekend. Capcom made it rain with Pro Tour points at three different events. Latif, Fudo, and Sian combined to make for a stellar top three at the KO Fighting Game Festival. Sian managed to take the title, but there was some controversy after Sian beat Ryan Hart, who had this to say. Shame that I got stopped from getting points by an already qualified player. I have to just accept that the rules are that way and move on. Now, Efren, he says he's moving on, but it doesn't sound like he's moving on. It sounds like he's kind of salty, kind of upset, kind of angry even. Ryan may have been a little bit salty, but don't feel too bad for him because after placing seventh at the KO Fighting Game Festival, he placed third at the EGX 2015 tournament when he arrived back in UK. Luffy emerged the victor at EGX, beating Valmaster in the finals. Yubiken's Shiro rounds out the tour stop winners from the weekend, collecting 128 points with a win in Norway's Call of Ragnarok. It's worth noting that Smash Bros. player Leffen entered the Street Fighter tournament in Norway in, you'll never guess what character he used. Uh, let me guess, uh, he's a Fox player in Melee, likes his top tier action. I'm guessing it was a top tier pick. Bingo, Ian. We're talking Yoon and Evil Ryu. Absolute Battle 6 also went down this weekend in Dallas, Texas. And for me, the highlight was the Ultimate Fight Night exhibition because some of the players there had some major beef. Dallas-based Hakan player Tommy Guns called out Cali players. One of the Cali players answered that beef. Call. Call. The call for beef, and he answered it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Crack Fiend came down to Dallas for absolute battle, not to compete in the tournament, just to be a part of this exhibition match, and he was talking some mad smack. That's beefy, actually. It was a beefy smack. Yeah. Anyway, Tommy Guns came out victorious, and it was glorious. Well, that's all very exciting, Efren, but it doesn't quite compare to weekend in Counter-Strike. The field is now set for the next Counter-Strike Major. Four more teams qualified this weekend at DreamHack Stockholm. Dignitas, Team Liquid, Footside Tactics, and Vexed Gaming. They will join such teams as Cloud9 and CLG in Cluj Napoca. Among the teams who came up just short were Hellraisers and both Australian teams, Renegades and Immunity. The field for Cluj Napoca is now set with 16 of the world's best Counter-Strike teams. Can you say Cluj Napoca 10 times fast? No, I can't, but I can say it a couple times. Yeah, at and least twice? You just did? Yeah, in the flow of conversation, I can say it just fine. 10 times fast? No, not for you, at least. Meanwhile, Gfinity hosted the Champion of Champions event. Four teams were invited, and each series played with the full five games. Fnatic edged NIP, and Envy skated past Virtus Pro to set up one more edition of the Fnatic Envy rivalry. Fnatic came back from an 0-2 hold to force a decisive fifth game, but Envy held strong, winning that game 16-9 and taking the title. It's one more feather in the cap for the new Envy roster. Well, sounds like a good weekend all around, and of course, Thursday is the beginning of the League of Legends World Championship. Stay tuned for our coverage later this week when the games get underway. If you enjoyed the show, hit that subscribe button. It helps us a lot. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and join us next week for yet another installment of The Leaderboard. We'll see you next time.